Hi guys, this is your tracker guy William here from Top Fly Tech. In today's video, I'm going to unbox the TLW1 series and I'm going to walk you through a uh, installation guide. So first of all, let's open up these devices. Here are the on-hand looks of the devices. We have the 4 wires, the 8 wires and the 10 wires. As soon as you receive it, please open up from here. And you will see there's a barcode on here, which also shows the IMEI number, uh, which is the unit factory ID for each device. And there's a SIM card slot for you to insert your active SIM card. And there are two LED indicators. The red one is for network and the blue one is for GPS signal. So when they're flashing, it means they're searching for the signal. When they're solid on, it means they have already gained the signal. First of all, please insert the SIM card into the SIM card slot. And make sure the SIM card is active and has sufficient balance and data in the SIM card. And secondly, please connect to power. If you have bought the four wired units, the, you, you get this as an extension cable. So you simply connect them, and on the other end, you get these extended four wires. Simply connect the red ones to the power and the black one to the ground, and make sure the power is between. Uh, 7 volts to 32 volts and the orange one is for ignition detection so please connect to the wire which only has power when the car engine is turned on so the tracker can detect uh, the ignition of the car and for the red one uh, for the yellow one you can connect to our uh, yellow wire for relay The relay here, connect the uh, yellow wire to the yellow wire on relay and the white one to the power of the relay. We have 12 volts and 24 volts of relay for immobilizing your vehicle. The next step, after you have inserted the SIM card first and then connect this to the power, please put it into our configuration sheet. And then connect to USB of your computer with this USB cable. After this, please open up your configuration program on your PC so that you can configure the APN, IP and port for these devices. If you have already added the devices on your platform, you should be able to see them coming online. After you have already got the trackers online on your platform, you might want to move on to installing the tracker onto the vehicle. Please make sure the red one is wired to power and the black one wired to ground, orange one wired to ignition detection. If you're not using relays, you don't have to worry about the yellow wires. And after doing all that, please make sure this top side sign is facing up because that's where the antenna is. So if you are turning it upside down, it might block the GPS signal. So you can use our tape to stabilize the tracker. If you have bought our a wide wired device, you will receive an additional SOS button input and a configurable input for fuel monitoring with our ultrasonic fuel sensor. Please first of all connect the power extension and wire the red one to power, black one to ground, and the orange one for ignition detection. And secondly, you get an SOS button if you have purchased it. You can simply connect it to the orange wire here to use it. So when you press the button, it receives the digital inputs and it sends uh, an alert to the platform to, uh, to warn you that the loan worker is uh, sending, is pressing this panic button. And with this configurable input, you can connect it to our ultrasonic fuel sensor. 
First of all, please connect it to the extension cable. And on the other end, you receive you get this white cable. And simply connect it to our ultrasonic fuel cell. And if you want to use the two configurable inputs for two ultrasonic sensors to monitor the fuel level in the two tanks, you get additional configurable inputs in the 10 wide units. So with the additional inputs simply connected to the ultrasonic fuel sensor. So in that way, you get two ultrasonic fuel sensors for your, for your two tanks. That is what the 10 wide unit is about. Thank you for watching this video. If you like our video, please follow us on LinkedIn or subscribe us on YouTube. We have a lot more to offer. Thank you.